Facebook, live on Instagram. Live on TikTok and Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to today's traffic training. And in today's lesson, you're gonna learn about custom audiences. And uh, custom audiences are probably one of the one of our top um, features that we use to grow our business. In fact, I would say like 80% of our clients for our info products business, um, mentorship, uh, we can generate them because of custom audiences, right? So custom audiences basically allow you to start building up data and start retargeting. And retargeting is one of the most profitable features that you can ever use in advertising, right? So with that being said, Fabian is gonna dive deep into custom audiences, uh, the concept of retargeting and why this is so super profitable. What's up, Fabian? What's up, what's up? <laughs> what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome to tonight's training. I know we're just fooling around, but we just want to make it a little bit, uh, you know, different for you guys. Uh, this is another traffic training and the music's still on because we're so happy. Uh, Actually, today is a really important lecture that I want to give you guys because of custom audiences. Um, yesterday, we talked uh, about the Facebook pixel and why it is so important for you guys to understand and interpret what the Facebook pixel does and how you can actually leverage it, okay? And di the most direct way that you can leverage the Facebook pixel is through generating custom audiences. Um, if you guys don't have an idea what a custom audience is, it's basically audiences that you will create from the traffic that you will be sending straight to your, uh, let's say, offer, your website, or if you're doing lead generation, you're gonna be capturing it. And yesterday, I did three examples specifically on e-com, uh, lead generation, and if you're uh, doing surveys. So let me just uh, start this uh, you know, um, training with basically another, just like a little recap on uh, what have we done, for example, with e-com. With e-commerce, we're always going to start with a Facebook ad and the Facebook ad will going to go straight to your, to your page, sorry, to view content and this is going to be kind of your product, for example, you're selling a ball, um, blah, 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 over here you have description, blah, 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 you have the button here and once people um, click the add to cart button, what it's going to do? It's gonna send you guys straight to the add to cart page, right? Add to cart page, where basically you're gonna display your product. You can have as many as you want, and for example, the price is gonna be, let's say, $40, and this is going to be the button where there you're gonna click or the client is gonna click and then they're gonna go straight to um, the initiate checkout where they're gonna fill out all the payment information and they're gonna get all the, 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 uh, the payment info, credit card, name, address, where is the product gonna be shipped at and then after this you're gonna show them a thank you page which this represents the purchase pixel okay so this is the flow let's just focus on the flow for a second because let's say let's uh, let's just set up an example that we sent uh, let's say 10,000 people to our site so out of those 10,000, let's say that Facebook, uh, let's say, quote unquote, set, sent us the right amount of traffic. So we have 10,000 people here. And uh, uh, 10,000 people viewed your content. And let's say, for example, uh, 8,000 added to your cart. Let's say 6,000 initiated checkout. And let's say 5,000 purchased your product, which was 
$40. So you can do the math and you can see how much money you made. But that's not the most important part, guys. The most important part, guys, is the fact that you are sending traffic to your website and most people are only focusing on the purchase. Let me just change colors because this is not working really much. So a lot of people only f focus on the purchase and generally when people set up a campaign, they're going to set it up optimizing for the purchase pixel, which is fine, but you're forgetting about the rest of the conversion events. So for me, what's the most important part? And Again, let me just recap another class and you're gonna be able, once you log in to uh, the business manager, let's see. Once you log into the business manager, you're gonna be able to log in by www.business.facebook.com. So please guys, write this information because this is how you're gonna log into the business manager. So step number two, uh, always in the top left corner, you're gonna be able to see three lines and it's going to say business manager. So I will want you to go and click and this specific button that we have right here, in the top, again, top left corner of the business manager, logging into your business.facebook.com. Again, this is not the social media platform that everybody uses. Please, again, let's make, and if you still don't have this clear, please go back to the training section where I talk about organic traffic versus paid traffic, and I make explain the difference between the Facebook social media platform and the Facebook business manager. But wait, really important, if you're finding this lesson valuable, please go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com, please schedule a call, you guys are gonna be talking to me, let's make sure that we're gonna give, uh, that we're giving you the best support so you guys can take action upon this immediately and start making changes within your business, okay? So let's go back. Once you click to the business manager section, uh, you're gonna be able to see, uh, and I wanna show you this for my computer so you guys can see that we're not fooling around. Um, you're gonna go and you're gonna click here. Again, you guys are gonna click here and you're gonna go and get to this page over here on Facebook and over here on Instagram. Really important, you guys are gonna see this create audience and you're gonna see custom audience and lookalike audience. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be talking about uh, more the custom, uh, the lookalike audiences, but today, I wanna to talk the custom audiences. So once you click here, you guys are gonna be able to see a lot of different custom audiences that you're going to create. But today, I'm gonna to focus in only website, video, Instagram business profile, and Facebook page. So just allow me to um, erase this real quick. So now, at least I explained to you how you, got, how you get to the audiences, and I explained to you guys what's the flow and how much audiences you're building, okay? So let me start up with the first one, which is number one. This is the website. The West, and I'm just gonna use CA, so you guys can understand the lingo. CA means custom audience, right? So within the website custom audience, guys, you're gonna be able to create audiences from, again, view content. In this specific case, you will be creating an audience of 10,000 people who landed and viewed your content. You can also create add to cart, and you're gonna be creating, in this specific example, 8,000 add to cart audience, and you're gonna be creating an initiate checkout audience, which represents 6,000 people. And the custom audience for purchase, let me just delete this, uh, erase this for a second, and this will represent the purchase custom audience built out of 
your Facebook Pixel's website. Uh, sorry, your website's Facebook Pixel. So again, this is a little piece of code you're gonna paste if you're using a Shopify store. You can either use an app or you can connect it directly. If you're using ClickFunnels, you can just paste the piece of code directly on the page you're using. And if you're using any other Magento-based uh, platforms, WooCommerce, you're definitely gonna be needing a programmer that can help you place these pixels correctly so you can get the uh, pixel fires. So for example, if I have 10,000, 8,000, 6,000, and 5,000 people, would you just leave them there and not use any advertising or any piece of ad or any video in order to get them back and f finalize the purchase? I just see here intent. So this is really important, guys. Like all of this representing from here all the way to here are people who are interested in buying your product or buying your uh, service or talking to you, et cetera, et cetera. You can retarget people. For example, if you know, if you have 10,000 people that have liked your product, you can share them another video or another ad giving them, for example, just simple example that doesn't have to be doing the exact same thing. You can set them, uh, for example, a 10% discount for the people who have viewed your content because you want to reward them because they landed to your site and they have a piece of interest in basically getting or knowing your product or what you're doing. So if you're giving them specific discount in a specific way, uh, you're creating a custom audience in the way that I shared uh, with you guys. And let me just, again, share it with you guys. Where can you go specifically? So over here, you're going to be able to uh, create, uh, over here, you're going to be able to create custom audiences from all the events, page view, content view, add to cart, lead, uh, purchase, etc. So this will depend on how you have your pixel set up. Again, let me show this to the people on Instagram. This is where you're gonna come, create audience, and you're gonna create uh, specific audiences from the events. Another a really interesting thing is the fact that you can also uh, create specific audiences from uh, website visitors, which is really important because anyone that lands to your site, it's because they have an interest on your product, your service, your brand, your newsletter, your email marketing, et cetera, et cetera. So I will do recommend you guys that even before you start launching your first Facebook ad campaign, you create view content, custom audience, add to cart, custom audience, initiate checkout, custom audience, and of course, you can't create the purchase, but you can create it anyway, because you're gonna start filling those audiences as you start pushing traffic. So it's really important. So this is the first way to start testing custom audiences through your website. Number two, let me just go back here. The next one, it's basically in one that I really, 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 really like. It's creating, let me just uh, delete this for the sake of the example. So number two, we're going to create video custom audiences. So let's say that I just, this ad, it's a video and I'm just showing it and we're getting impressions, impressions and impressions. So let's say that the video that I sent for over, let's say um, a period of one week, two weeks, got me, let's say, um, let's say 100,000 views. If you go to the videos custom audiences, you will be able to then segment, and there are many, many, many types out there. But I really like to segment this to uh, uh, video watches percentages. So basically, you, you can create 25% of people who watched the video. We have then 50%, we have 75%, 
and we have 95 percent there are other other types of the, for example you have 10 percent you have three uh sorry uh you have 10 second video watches you have three second video watches but generally i will focus in only the specific four types because i will know that for example someone that watched more than 50 percent of my video it's because they like the content if it's content, if you're selling a product, they're interested in your product. And if you're selling uh, a software, they're interested in the software. Or if you're selling a service, they're interested in your service. So I'll take this audience, this audience, and this audience, and I'll create specific retargeting ads for this specific people. Why? You might be asking. Because they are really interested. For example, who will be more interested in, in buying your product? Someone who watched 75% or someone that watched 25%? Of course, 75%. So that's why we wanna leverage people who have watched more than half of our video because they're more interested in actually finding out more for your product. And you're just basically creating a way or a path that you can use to monetize. Not a lot of people take care of all this stuff, guys. A lot of people, they're just in straight for the sale. And that's the only metric that they take you know, advantage of. But I'm telling you guys, you can also leverage the people who have landed to your site as view content, add to cart, initiate checkout, and purchases. And for example, if you're doing the same thing with leads, will be people that, that viewed, your, uh, viewed your page, people who opted in, people who have, uh, let's say, generated a lead, or if they wanna schedule an appointment, it will be firing the complete registration pixel. So the most important part is understanding the pixel events that you're gonna be firing in order for you to leverage your audience creation, okay? So um, let's go to the next one. So number three, this will be Facebook pages. Okay, so on Facebook pages, you can create different specific types of audiences. And at the end of the day, how are you running your Facebook ads? You're either running it through a Facebook page or you're running it through an Instagram page that we're gonna be talking about next. But generally, people use the Facebook, uh, the Facebook page to run their ads. So you're gonna be able to retarget people and there are a lot of them, but generally the ones that I like the most are, um, let's see, uh, people uh, that engaged engage uh, let's say with post people who have engaged with our posts there are also people who have uh, liked our page there are also people that are uh, let's say saving your post there are also custom audiences for people that have actually commented or liked your post there's also people who uh, message your page and so on and so on. And the same thing goes for the last one, which is basically your business Instagram page. Which will be the exact same thing. People who engage with your post, people who share your post, people who engage with your Instagram business page, people who send a message to your Instagram business page, people who liked or commented on your post on Instagram, and so on and so on, guys. So I just wanted to make, again, uh, a little uh, concept or really showing you guys the top four custom audiences that uh, generally I focus on and it's basically the ones that you should be focusing on and let me just take a step back guys if you're finding all this information valuable and this is just like a Facebook live please go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com this is just only the tip of the iceberg not even that if you guys really want to know how to succeed on your paid advertisement please schedule a call with me I'll definitely be there to talk to you, understand your needs, and how can we help you out achieve your goals. 
please don't hesitate this is just like a simple presentation and we're just doing it so you guys can understand how we do this and how we make it work okay so again these are the four main different types of custom audiences but guys please remember this is something that you should keep doing and going every single day audiences are going to be growing every single time you're going to be uh, let's say paying for advertisement. So this is how we actually leverage, we build and we pay cheaper clicks for our clients because everybody now is just focusing in cold traffic. And we're gonna get into that in other trainings, but the most important thing that I want you guys to understand is the fact that you can leverage custom audiences for your business. And something really important that I almost forgot, um, the fifth one which is really cool. And this and this are basically um, CSV files. And people will be asking, what are CSV files? This can be a customer list. This can be a customer list. For example, Let's say that anybody, anybody who's watching owns a business and whoever are just uh, business owners, please just write the, uh, number two in the chat so we can definitely know how much people are struggling with their businesses and how we can help them. But basically, if you have a customer list, guys, we can create a custom audience and we can enter that information on Facebook via CSV file and we can create a custom audience out of that list. And then we can leverage it to sell them anything. For example, let's say that um, you're selling um, dental care. So dental care is not cheap, but what if you uh, currently are a dentist or anyone that it's generating appointments? You can be a doctor, you can be a doc trainer, you can be a trainer, you can sell anything. At the end of the day, if you truly have an email list, from people who have purchased or acquired any service, product, whatever from you, you can enter that information on Facebook and you can create detailed targeting. And why am I really focusing on this, guys? Because if anyone has purchased anything, even if it's a piece of gum from you, they will be more willing to buy from you than anybody else that don't know you. So that's why you really need to focus in the data that you have learning how to leverage it and interpreting that data when you're doing paid traffic. So for example, let's say that you had, um, let's say 6,000 people in, sorry, my people. Okay, so we have 6,000 people. And for example, this uh, 6,000 people have bought an average ticket from you from, let's say, 300 bucks. So let's say that you haven't touched this list, but what if these people have purchased from you a 300 average uh, ticket, and then you show them an ad from, let's say, for example, instead of, of getting them, of selling them another $300 product, you can send them an ad with a cheaper service that, let's say that, 50% of this buy. So let's say, so it's 3,000 people that, for example, um, bought from you an average ticket of 2,000 bucks. Guys, do the math. You're making a lot of money from a list that was, that was actually just sitting there. And that's why we're actually in this trainings teaching you all this stuff because it's like the saying, if you don't know, you don't know. But that's why we're in this specific live training series, teaching you how to do things right. The most important part, guys, from this training is that we want to leverage everything you guys have. If you currently have a business and you're finding uh, situations where you can't find help or you're just lost, please go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com. Please schedule a call. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. We're basically recording all these videos for free for you guys to leverage. But if you really want to take a step forward, again, go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com. Please schedule a call and we're going to be sure to talk to you and find uh, the solutions to your problems. So 
this is this are basically the five uh, main parts that I wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, let me just make a quick recap so you guys can remember. And please take note of all this stuff. Let's make sure that you're applying everything. And if you still don't have a business manager, please go to www.business.facebook.com and please just start getting your own business manager set up. Start playing around with the tool. Uh, we have pre-recorded some other trainings that you can also leverage and, re and revise based on the tool. And again, if you're looking for help, go to sebastiangomezmentoring.com schedule a call we're going to be there to help you out so just to make a, re a recap i use this ecom example for you guys to explain the traffic that you guys send uh from facebook representing in people that land through your flow and these are custom audiences that you can be creating through your content add to cart initiate checkout and purchases right so this is the website custom audiences we have number two the video custom audiences that you're going to be creating video views and you're going to be creating audiences from those specific amounts of people who have completed the video number three facebook pages which is really important guys everybody has a facebook page in order to run traffic so you can start creating audiences from people who engage with your posts people that save your ad people who messaged your facebook post people who um uh, people who message and that's basically uh, it. And number two, again, uh, the same thing goes for Instagram, the same features and the CSV files, guys, which is really important. If you currently have a list, um, just take note of all this stuff, guys. I really appreciate every uh, second of your time to allow me to explain all this stuff for you guys. And again, if you have any questions, SebastianGomezMentoring.com. See you guys there and hope to see you tomorrow in the next training. See you guys.